probably won't use this footage. But you know what they say, YouTubers? If you film it and don't use it, you can throw it away. If you don't film it, you can't use it. But you can still throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what the saying goes on this channel? Quantity over quality. <laughs> <laughs> What's quality? You all laugh apparently. Everybody thinks I'm grumpy. Of course they don't live with you. That's why. Hold on a minute. I made you smile this morning. Why did I make you smile this morning? What was I doing? Farting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're the king of that. Uh, I'm the king of the swingers as well, but only when I ain't got my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> never... <laughs> That's never going in. <laughs> you could put that at the beginning. <laughs> well, hello. Hello. So today is the 20th of... <laughs> Just pointing out we're not in the van. <laughs> the 20th of August. And as Rick pointed out to you, we are not in the van. We're in the Super Venga. Ah. <laughs> um, but we are doing something that's van related. We're going to um, Notting just outside Nottingham to the Leisure Outlet UK. What's it called? Motorhome Awning and Camper Van Driveway Awning Show. Try saying that first thing in the morning. <laughs> because we want a motorhome awning. Do it, not a camper van awning. Well, camper van, motorhome. It's not really, I mean, if you think camper van, yeah. that would be VW and that one wouldn't, it would be a bit short. It'd be like you wearing a normal man's pair of trousers. <laughs> Wait, it'd be short. <laughs> I have got normal trousers on, they're called shorts. But yeah, we, um, we've got a, a driveway awning, but we find we actually only use it once a year, which is a <laughs> when we go away at New Year's because chances are the weather's a bit crap and you actually only want the part where it joins onto the van just as a bit of shelter walking in and out but most of the time now if we go somewhere we take that little green bike tent as it's called that really just lets us throw stuff in overnight or we bought that big pop-up tent didn't we mm -hmm. so we sort of use them two so we got to thinking that... But they're uh, no good for the winter. No, they're no good for the winter because we want the actual join. It's very rare we're going to move the van in the winter. We tend to have three or four nights somewhere. So we want the joining part so that if it is raining, we can walk straight out with wet coats and stuff. You know what I mean? Rick can, Rick can stand um, with the door open on the awning and let, the, <laughs> let Poppy go and do her business. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully, you know stay relatively dry that type of stuff <laughs> but also well, when we've been out coming back so yeah. that we can take your coats off op like. open the the door of the van and not get rain coming in yeah. and this sort of thing and but still get rid of our muddy boots and like you say so damp clothes outside we believe they're called porch awnings as in they're not drive away and we're going to try and get the smallest one we can realistically just as a bit of a door a door shelter so a porch ha ha obviously the reason they're called that it is isn't it <laughs> so that's where we're going hopefully we'll be able to film a bit of that and then on the way back we'll update you with a few little trips we've got coming up because we've changed our plan with one of them keep, you in, keep you in suspenders that <laughs> or you can just fast forward you know <laughs> I've recently started putting chapters in the I was the just about to say, he's learnt how to do chapters. Um, which I'm not, I'm not sure it's a good idea. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but if people are going to skip, they'll skip anyway. If people uh. are going to watch, they'll watch anyway. So, some of the videos are going to have chapters in, so that you can flick through the boring stuff like this, straight to the action. <laughs> or straight to the end. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. gonna he's gonna put an end thing on it, but it's gonna be one of these reoccurring ones where it starts back at the beginning and completely fools you. Perpetual loop. Yeah, yeah something like that. Oh, what loop? Perpetual. <laughs> it's 
so there we go. Ouroboros, as they oh, say. What, what, what? Ouroboros. <laughs> the snake that eats its tail, Ouroboros, never ending. Don't you know anything? Not all them fancy words, no. Anyway. It's, it's not numbers, is it? Mansplaining. See you later. <laughs> Possibly in the right place. So the shop's about a mile up the road, you said, didn't you, from here? Leisure outlet. But they've obviously got this field here where they've got some on display. They're only for camper vans. There's no, motorhomes. yeah, motorhomes. There's no caravan ones here today. We're just looking for the smallest one that we can. I know that sounds a crazy thing, but it, it literally is somewhere to throw stuff attached to the van. Boss doing the research. So, semi disappointing that they haven't got the one we wanted to see on view. They have got them in stock. Um, I'll try and throw a stock photo up of the one we're looking at to describe it to you. Basically, if we go back to the original one, which I showed you, the small one here, it's only got one pole at the front and the rear support is the van itself so it's a non-driveway which is what we're looking for um, but yeah the rest here are just too expensive or too big not that the price is the issue it's just the use of it we do not want a big awning we're not going to sit in it it's for storage so i think we're going to go and have a look somewhere else now so the boss says, I'll just do what I'm told. Well, that was a sort of waste of time, but wasn't. Um, as I said, if I use the video that I've just made anyway, <laughs> um, the one that we sort of looked at, they haven't got on show. And the guy said quite rightly, I suppose, because it's, n it's not a driveway awning, it's not self-supporting. It's got one pole and the van becomes the other support. Um, they've got them in at their warehouse, they're in at stock, we could go and get one now, but they also offer free delivery, so we're not that desperate to get one. So Heather's just been on the phone to Don Amos. Getting good caravans. The price <laughs> is right and the choice is yours, from years ago, if you remember the advert. Um, so we're gonna pop into Don Amos on the way back because They've got some on show, apparently, we'll see. And then even if they're non-suitable, we've still got the full back of this one with free delivery. So we're just coming down to Don Amos now. So we'll see what they've got here. We're turning right here, oh. this roundabout. Yeah, it's really only, this is the closest dealership to our house. It's not far at all. Um, when we first went to look to get yeah, the CV. We, yards, turn left. Yeah, we first saw our first CV turn here. Before we bought Pearl. There we go, Don Amot's Leisure Kingdom. It wasn't a, it wasn't a CV20 that we saw, no, it was, though, was 60. it? It was a 60. It was a 60, wasn't it? They hadn't yeah, got a 20. A white one. We, we, we were looking at... Um, uh, Swift. Some, some different, yeah. Swift 122 we actually came to look at. We wanted to see whether, basically, Rick was... Uh, long enough. Long, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rick was long enough, no. Whether the, whether the van long. was long enough for Rick. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and we've arrived, yes, Poppy. There's a 122, I think. Yeah. First thing that ever brought us to Don Amots was to come and look at one of them, as we've said. What's that? A five, 540V line, that's one of them short ones, isn't it? Little diddy ones. Yeah. A few of the big beasties. A few, fair few motorhomes. Not many van conversions there. A couple of uh, 
Auto Trail V lines down the end. V line S 670 and a 610. Yeah, it's nice one that. V line Sport 610. Still got the gas fridge on it though. And your 230 in and your water. And obviously your toilet cassette. Little window in the middle. Presumably the bathroom. Or maybe not, maybe they're just to blacken the sides out. Nice little U-shaped lounge in the back of this one. Possibly just about get away with sleeping lengthways, but I don't know, I don't think so. I like that though. It's gonna have it's obviously got a tailgate on the back. And it's the new the new cab. Storage in there. No over cab storage, but it obviously brightens it up a lot. Yeah, little shower room with no uh, no light, but it's got a flip down sink to give you more room. Hmm, it's nice that is. Yeah, the tailgate on the back makes that nice for the uh, U-shaped lounge. I like that. There you go then. So we bought it. Ignore the picture of the caravan because it's all to do with the height and um, yeah our van is 250 high and this one says 235 to 250 so it'll fit it's all to do with that um, there's the size as you can see we've got two meters by 2.35 I can stand up in it perfect the good thing is optional extras storm pole in the middle and rear poles you don't need any of them but the girl in the sales shop, has, I asked what, what was the story with them and she's give us a set of poles free. There, they should be 30 quid, bonus. The centre storm pole is an X display but it was free, it's got a scratch on it, we don't mind. Like I say, you don't need them, but we'll take that. Hello, this is me from the future, interrupting this broadcast to let you know that unfortunately, me and Heather from the past still don't know that the awning didn't fit. I'm going to show you some photos now and uh, we tried it at the weekend. It doesn't fit the van. We've contacted Don Amot. They're going to give us a refund. So the search continues. So now I'm back to the happy couple that are still blissfully unaware that the awning they've just bought is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your visit. See you again soon. You might, you might not. So, as you can see, we just left on Amots and uh, mission successful with Morning the awning. I think possibly Heather did remark they got that much stock of them. And people don't traditionally want the pole awnings anymore. They're, everybody's into air awnings, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And so, getting the additional poles for free, I still think it's a bargain. Um, but I imagine they just want to shift stock, so they're quite happy to chuck a few bits in with it. Yep. it suits me. Like I say, you don't need the poles. The storm pole in the middle, I think, will be advantageous with rain. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the two side poles. They might make it rub the van. We'll have to see, won't we? Like you say, there's there's like a there's a big foam pad, foam isn't there? Pad, so we'll see. We'll yeah, see we'll see how that. it stays up. But you know. We didn't even prompt the girl. We just said, what are these clips for? And she said, oh, you can add some poles in. I'll throw them in if you like. And it's like, oh, okay. So you don't need them. And then, uh, yeah, we had a quick look around some of the stock. I was gonna film a bit. I filmed a little bit, as you can see, of that V-line, but then we got chatting with a lady and her, and her mom and sort of abandoned it because I'm starving now. <laughs> He's wasting away. Wasting away. <laughs> so I'm going home. Um, we ought to say earlier on in the video, we did say we'd let you in on the plans that have changed. Oh, yes. Um, if you did watch the video early on, what we tend to do at the beginning of the year is sort of roughly give you the outline of where we're going to do our two or three weeks of the year tour, if you like. 
and we did say we were doing Northumberland and Norfolk this year, which we've done, and the other one was going to be Dorset. But Dorset. we changed that, we changed Dorset because we're drawn to Scotland. We, we just want to go back to Scotland. Um, last year we did the CV Owners Club meet at Hoddam Castle, and we weren't going to bother this year, but we sort of decided to do that again. So because we're making a 200 mile pilgrimage to Scotland, we thought it'd be rude not to do a bit more Scotland. And like you say, from a from a cost point of view, it's, yeah, and, it's stupid going all that distance. And well, we did last year, we did, we, did, we did 200 further. miles up there for a weekend. Yeah, so, so yeah. We thought we'd- Fuel, we'd fuel was a lot cheaper, cheaper. then. Um, I mean, it's still an expensive, you know, yeah. <laughs> weekend. But uh, mm. so we've, we've we've moved the Dorset week. We'll probably do that next year, or it's not going anywhere. Um, but we're going to do. A, a, it's not even a tour of Scotland. We've we've only got two or three places in mind. We're going to go back to the Kelpies for one night after we've done Hoddam Castle. Then we're going to Raz and the Falkirk wheel. And the Falkirk wheel because. Although we've done them both before, we certainly haven't filmed the Falkirk wheel for the channel and Heather wants to ride on it. Yep. Then we're going to go up to St Andrews, we found a lovely campsite up there. Overlooking St Andrews. Overlooking St Andrews so. Bay. Then we're going to come down to Edinburgh just for the for the day, have a look round Edinburgh and then we found a off-grid campsite um, in North Berwick which we're going to stop at and then we think we're going to drop back into Northumberland for the way home and we wanted to go to Almwick when we've just done the Northumberland tour and hopefully see the brewery there mm -hmm. so we'll do that on the way back down so yeah I know where I'm going oh. you know it's um, I live around here <gasps> only when it suits him <laughs> This is the world's shortest <laughs> slip road. Well, I don't think it is, but... Well, it's not, but it's... Um, it is pretty quick, pretty, pretty it's, short. It's, I tend to, to stop at the end and see what's coming, and at this I, end, I mean, not I just, the other end. I just close my eyes and go for it. <laughs> um, I don't really, but... Come on. Bye-bye, baby. Yeah, see? We're on. Um, so that's it really. Probably a complete mismatch of video, but we don't care. Do we? No. Um, this anyway. is to remind us where we're going as well. It is. Anyway. Just in case. You know. Just in case I get dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Before I've edited it. Right, we're going now. Um, as I say, as you're watching this, this was over a month ago. Yeah. For us. Don't know where we are next. Well, I do know where we are next week, but I don't know if you all see where we are next week. Oh. Next week, from this date, is the bank holiday weekend. Yes. Um, we're going to visit friends and family. We may make a video. We may not. Who knows? If you're still watching, fair play. <laughs> <laughs> see you on the next one. Thank he's, you. Had, he's had a bit less of. Like fair them. play, fair play, yeah. yeah. Fair no, play. All said and done. All said and done. You know what I mean. <laughs> what, what else did she say? I'll, right ha then. I'll have a pint <laughs> of wine. That's what she said. No, you've done that once before. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye.